Hey guys, so in my Tesla sub trunk back there, I have a one kilowatt battery and that's powering a refrigerator, an air fryer, underglow. I have two strips, so it's powering two strips of underglow. I have interior lights going off that thing. And come on, I'm powering an air fryer and a refrigerator. So as you consume, what I'm trying to say is it gets pretty hot back there. It's drawing about a kilowatt at its peak with everything running. So um, how about we don't overheat the battery? There's two ways to cool it. There's passive and there's active cooling. First, let's go over passive cooling. It's free. The most passive thing you can do is just not put the sub trunk cover on. Let the battery breathe. If you still want to use your sub trunk cover, I 3D printed these little triangles which the sub trunk cover sits onto and that way there's a little slit in the back for air to come out. Now, that's really, really passive and it's still pretty limiting. So another thing you can do is add a little fan back there, a small fan that's just powered off the battery that just blows air out of that slit. Now this still might not be enough to cool your sub trunk. And if it's not, I have a solution for you. So what I'm gonna do is the following. First off, I have this awesome sub trunk cover that has slits in it, it's plastic, and I got it as a gift. One main problem with the heat being insulated in the sub trunk is that the sub trunk is lined with carpet. Carpet is an insulator. So now that it's plastic and it has ventilation, you're gonna be fine. This is still passive cooling. We're just letting the air, the hot air rise out of it. So it comes with a sub trunk refrigerator, which you're not gonna want because you're gonna want to have a battery there but see if you can go to the site and buy it without buying the, the cooler part see if you can just buy the top part i'm sure they'll sell it to you maybe anyways i'm using this and wooden slats underneath for reinforcement because it's pretty weak on the middle edges you can just get these from home depot and i'll show you me doing that let's go to home depot so you're gonna want two of these bad boys cutting them up into 31 inches each they're three quarter by three quarter and six feet long hardwood squares since it's six feet you probably only need one of these and then just divide it into two but the one i got which i later found because i went to a different store because i forgot my wallet and home depot does not accept mobile pay only had three feet one so i had to get two of those so i measured the sub trunk and i found the sub trunk to be this length right here across so i'm going to get like some reinforcements that's that long or i can cut it down to that size and put it underneath the slats probably secure it with like some 3m tape that way i can rest stuff on the sub trunk cover and won't have to worry about it like caving in or anything now we are not done yet because this is still super passive and i draw a lot of power so we need some active cooling that's why i got these fans super cheap they're high voltage low current which means there's not a lot of heat being generated by the fans more the cooling you can buy these off of amazon i'll have them in the description below the like button we're gonna wire them up in parallel and connect them to the battery super simple i have a little wiring diagram right here you can follow if you have any questions as always leave a comment below now you can manually plug or unplug the fans or have them set up with a relay which is like a trigger and have it hooked up to like a temperature sensor or a switch in the cabin like these switches right here i'll show you how to do that if you stay subscribed and wait for a future video with the fans the most important thing to cool is the input and the output so i'll show you that in a second it's going to depend on your battery but it'll generally be in the same place so i'm going to keep you updated on my setup i'm going to monitor the temps and everything i'll probably keep like a comment thread and pin it of how i'm doing it and how it's going for me if you're curious so check that out below and let me know which method works best for you what are you using your battery for how much power are you needing how much cooling are you needing and if you want to figure out how to put an external battery in your sub trunk and just have it charge infinitely off the car check out that video in the description below or on the channel if i forget to link it there but i'll, I'll try to remember or you can remind me anyways i hope you have a great day bye